I worship you because of who you are. I give you glory because of who you are. I give you praise because of who you are. I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you. Because of who you are, thank you, Holy Ghost. To hold the gyro, my provider, to hold the knee, see, Lord, you reign in victory, and I worship you, and I worship you, bless the Lord, and I worship you. Because of who you are. Thank you, Lord Jehovah Shalom. Shalom, my Prince of Peace. And I worship you. And I worship you. And I worship you because of who you are. Yes. Turn with me now. To Second Chronicles 16, chapter 16, verse 9, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. 16, chapter, verse 9. Thank you, Lord. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect toward him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God is looking for someone to give a yes to. Thank you, Lord. Are you hearing me, friend? Thank you, Holy Ghost. God is looking for someone to give a yes to. Bless the Lord. And if you take the word E out of the parallel of the plural for eyes, you get the word yes. God always is looking for someone to agree with him. Because how can two walk together, baby, unless they agree? Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He can He's looking for grace and a place to give a blessing to for someone who will agree with him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So you ain't got to like what God says all the time, but as long as you agree with him, you're walking with him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Well, a lot of people step out of the will of God because they don't agree with the way God views things. My God, brother and sister, when you got saved, your body didn't become your own no more. God lives there. You're invading his privacy when you're telling God that ain't the way it's going to be. God owns this body. He's going to tell you how it's going to be. He's a loving God. But let him rule, baby. He knows what's coming ahead. You've got a GPS, God's personal system, right, bless the Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord, right up the road. Just trust Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. The word, yes. God's always looking for someone he can give the yes to. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 16. I'm sorry, Hebrews. I'm sorry, Hebrews 11, 6 through 7. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Seek him, those who get a yes from his lips, are those who are the apple of his eyes. Zechariah 2 and 8, Psalm 17 and 8. Job said, I've made a covenant with my eyes that I may not sin against my wife. But my God, how much more do we need to pray that God would give us eyes, I love you, Holy Ghost, that do not stray and hearts that do not wander. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's my prayer for the church. Give us eyes that do not stray from you and a heart that does not wander. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Those who get a yes from his lips are those who are the apple of his eye. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When your heart's desire lines up with the desires of God's heart, you will get a yes every time. Psalms 20 and 4. Psalms 37 and 4. But until we get a yes from his lips, bless the Holy Ghost, we ought to continue to press for the yes when we know it's his will. Jesus said to that, Luke 6, I'm sorry, Luke 18, 3 through 8, that the man would persistently go to the door and knock. He would.
would not quit till he got a yes. He would not quit till his friend gave him a go ahead. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Luke 11, 5 or 6. Luke 11, 5. Excuse me, folks. I can't read my writing. Luke 5. 11, Luke, excuse me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Luke 11, verse 5 through 13. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The woman who continued to go. I may have got them too screwed up. Forgive me if I did. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. So the, it went, she went to the judge continually, waiting for a yes. And Jesus said, likewise do so when you're pressing into God, when you're looking for a yes from God, and you know what he says is for you. Bless the Holy Ghost. You know what his word declares for you. You know the word. You know the promises of God are yea and amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Keep pressing on till you get a yes. Amen. Praise the Holy Ghost. Because his word is yea and amen. So many today need to learn to persist in prayer, to, to be persistent, bless the Holy Ghost, in prayer. They need to learn to seek God's will, and bless your Lord, and when they find it in the word of God, and it lines up to the will of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, because the word of God will never go outside the will of God. Because the will of God is the word of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. He watches over his word to perform it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So if you're in covenant with the Holy Ghost, my brother, and you know the word of God, the devil of hell can lie to you and say you're going to die of cancer. You say, I rebuke it. My brother, praise the Holy Ghost. That cancer's got to fall off of you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You can walk up to that diabetes center and say, I command you to shut down because I command everybody there to be cured of diabetes. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You can call the dead back to life. You can call cancer to die. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You can call the dead to live. Get that through your mind. The Creator said, as I did it on earth, so can you, because I go back. Jesus, the creator in flesh, the creator said, you can do greater than I do, because I go back to be with my Father, bless the Holy Ghost, but you have my spirit. You can do what I did in greater. You can go further than I ever went. If you'll just get up, go. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I'm going to say this real quick. Get up, shut up, and grow up. Get going, friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I denounce every lie of the enemy that says you can't. You can. If God had told a woman to carry his living word, he has no problem carrying the written word through her. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Quit letting obstacles stop you from the Holy Ghost power that's in you. I bless the power of the living God. Bless your Holy Ghost. So many today... Need to learn to persist in prayer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. They need to seek God's will and what they find in lines up with the Word of God. The Word to press on till they get a yes. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Don't quit seeking because other things are seeking you out there. Just as we are seeking God. God is seeking us. Genesis 3 and 9. God said to Adam, where are you, Adam? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. God seeked his creation. Now the creation is seeking the creator. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The roles have been turned. John 4, 23, 24. God's still seeking, though. He's seeking after you, you lost sheep. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. We ain't dumb. We're just, we're not dumb sheep. We're just sheep that have went astray sometimes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. But God's going to leave the ones that are staying faithful and go find you. That's how much he cares about you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lamb of God. I want you to understand this. John 4, 23 through 24 said that Jesus answered the God of earth, the God of heaven, thank you, Holy Ghost, in flesh, God in flesh, Jesus Christ, said he is God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Amen. Jesus said to her, the Father seeks such to worship him. He's seeking worshipers, friend. Break out in spontaneous worship. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. 
I give you glory because of who you are. I give you praise because of who you are. Bless and love the Lord. Hallelujah. I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Thank you, Jesus. He's everything you need, friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. As God is seeking to worship, find worship, John 4, 23 through 24. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Like God is seeking man and man seeking God, Exodus 30 and Exodus 3 and 4. Moses said, here am I. Where are you? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Acts 9 and 5. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. The Bible said, Paul said, Where art thou? Who art thou, Lord? Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Satan, the destroyer, is looking for you too. So we got God looking for man, man looking for God. Now we got Satan looking for us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Satan, the destroyer of the destiny, is seeking us that why what, why we need, that's why we need to know and find God's will in our life. First Peter 5, 8 through 9. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And Job, he was searching on both sides of the world, looking for somebody that he could tempt, looking for somebody whose life he could ruin. And God said, if you consider my servant Job, not that God wanted to hurt Job, but God wanted to prove the devil wrong, that not everybody could be fallen into the trap of the devil. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And we all know the story that God got him out of there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <clears throat> I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And on closing that message right there, I thank you, Holy Ghost. I want to tell you this. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And he's seeking you now, seeking you out. Call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Son, daughter, where are you? Thank you, Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, for all those who believe, he gave them power. I love the power of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. He said he gave them power to become the sons of God. I love you, Holy Ghost. I want you to reach out your hand today and say, here I am, I, Lord, send me. Because God said, who can I send and who will go for me? For us, talking to Jesus, God in flesh. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's right, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God saying, will somebody go? Will I be able to send somebody? God don't need everybody out there. He just needs a few good men because many are called, but few are chosen. Somebody's chosen who's been running from the gift of God. Quit running and accept what the Holy Ghost has got to offer you. Repent and follow out of the will of God for your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody's watching me now saying, Brother H.R., I just can't make it no more. I don't know how. I'm going to live another day. God says, today's your day for repentance. Today's your day for forgiveness. Today's your day for deliverance, sister. Brother, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Reach out your hand and say, Jesus, I need you. Deliver me, save me, fill me with the Spirit that I might be kept in my home in Jesus' name. Wash me and cleanse me. I believe you died on the cross that God raised you from the dead in Jesus' name. Now, that was for everybody, that prayer right there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're watching this and say, I need you to pray for me, you just got it, baby. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, God, deliver everybody watching. And, Father God, I just ask you to wash them in the blood. Fill them with the Spirit. I do love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Those who are watching, may they be forever touched, changed, and delivered. God, heal everybody sick and oppressed of the devil. God, change them. Send your word and heal their disease. May you watch over your word <clears throat> to perform it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to pray. I just want to say thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where this is always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. God bless you, and I love you. Be praying for my throat, y'all. Something just totally happened. I can't hardly talk. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. This is just an attack, but I'm going to come back out on the other side. Glory to God. Shining brighter than gold. Glory to God. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.